congratulate Argus News because this is the only channel which has tried in its own way to promote tourism in the state and in the country. And this is not the first time I have been part of this Chalo Dekhe Apna Des for the last three years and I am glad that they are doing religiously every year. So congratulations to Argus. <clears throat> Talking about, I was listening very intently to what CEO of Argus Dear Prakash was talking about uh, how our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has been working hard to make India a destination. And that reminded me of a very funny incident. You know, one of the reels that I saw in recent times, which was by a stand-up comedian. He, I will tell you in Hindi, whatever he said, little bit, I, I can't copy it verbatim, but little bit that I remember. He said, Kya admi hai yaar? Akela chala gaya, ek chokki leke chala gaya, Darya Kinare Bad Gaya, Kuch Photo Leli, Social India Machod Gaya, or Udhar Deko Ek Deep Dub Gaya. See, that is the power a head of the state trying to promote tourism, which has not really happened earlier. My topic today is not talking about, you know, how to do tourism, where to do tourism, how we do experiential tourism, how we increase the inflow, what is the number of people that are going to come, or what is the, how the post-COVID, the numbers have gone up. I'm not going to talk about that today. I am talking about the concern or the priority that the government, both in, in our case, in fact, the state government has gone ahead from a 4 crore budget to a 1500 crore budget on tourism. You know, this effort has to percolate down to the grassroots level. You, know, you must have heard about uh, PPP mode. You know, what is a PPP mode? Public-private partnership. That is the PPP mode we commonly know. Mitravanu is here, he, he is a master in PPP efforts or initiatives. But in my case, I think in tourism, PPP stands for people, people, and people. You know, unless we involve the common man, unless each one of the Indian community understand the priority of tourism, unless each person realizes the advantages of a tourist coming into our country, tourism will not succeed. As Mr. Jena was saying, tourism has been, you know, what we look or what we want is employment. And everybody knows that tourism is one of the major employer in the service sector. But one needs to know, the common man needs to know, 
common man needs to understand that when a tourist is coming, he is coming for a day or he is coming for two days and in these two days, he is spending let's say 100 rupees or 1000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees and this 1 lakh rupees is actually percolating to my income or my brother's income or my son's income. When we are talking of experiential tourism, we need to take it beyond the standard Puri Konark, Agra Jaipur and make them reach to the grassroots where there will be two benefits. One is there will be employment and there will be the uh, income. So financial growth, contribution to the economy, as well as we will have employment for our people. This can only happen when we make the people understand how important is tourism. You go to a place like Kerala. Kerala, the people know that each tourist that is coming into the state is contributing some way or other to my income. So he welcomes the tourist. That kind of welcome has to be there everywhere, every state, every city and going down to every village. Then only tourism in India will grow or tourism in India will flourish. I had the opportunity of interacting with some travel agents in Delhi and they mentioned to me one thing. They said that when a tourist is coming, they want to see a village, a village life. But in Odisha, we are not getting any village where we can take the tourist. We, we have not tried that. There is no model village. Or there are, you know, why one village? Each village can be a model village for the tourist to come in and spend some days and experience the village life. What is the real in India? Real India is not Taj Mahal. Real India is not Konark. Real India is not, let's say, Jaipur. So, coming back to the basic, we need involvement of people. Priority should be to make the people understand how tourism is going to benefit. And my request to all present here, as well as to the organizers, is that to involve and, you know, propagate it in, in such a way that each Indian will openly welcome the tourist that is coming to his area, not necessarily foreign tourist, the local tourist also, somebody coming from Nagaland and visiting Bhubaneswar or somebody coming from Goa and visiting West Bengal should be equally welcomed. Then only our tourism can grow. Thank you. I have taken a lot of your time. Thank you so much. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बोलंतु नहीं